like a shell rotating and the arc magnet field. No? The similar idea is what involved here. Where is a non-conducting ring? <coughs> okay, this is a non-conducting ring. So we have uh, so how the how the loop is telling like a small connecting ring having radius is kept fixed at center of the bigger ring such a way that axis x x dash is passing through its center and perpendicular to its plane. So here we'll make hope at least uh, you are able to imagine the diagram now. Huh? This is the ring. So their planes are perpendicular. Then this is having a charge. It is being rotated. How this charged conducting ring rotates? Will it produce magnetic field? Yes, it will produce magnetic field. Advanced paper in P2, you had similar question. There the shell was rotating, you were asking the magnetic field. Here the ring is rotating. So let me calculate the magnetic field. Acceleration, uh, you see this is. Okay, this this be the radius E. Let this be the radius capital R. Okay, now I think we'll, we'll get into this one. So for, somehow let's get calculate the magnetic field at the center of this ring. So, as, uh, so you look at this one. So what about the field here on the axis only you have to calculate. Don't, don't go for any other thing. So because the A is very much less than R, no? So what is the field at the center of this ring, small ring? That'll be the field everywhere here because A is very much less than R. So we have to calculate the field. So this rotating ring how did it will be it will be like a thin ring now so you you assume a strip now okay due to this you get into the concept now so let, let me assume a strip circular strip so this will an angle, let it be theta, d theta. So this will be r d theta. And let this radius, okay, this will be r sin theta. If you want, you can write it y. Okay, now this is a <coughs> conducting, so non-conducting ring, charger ring. So it will produce a magnetic field at this particular point. First, we'll calculate field due to this circular strip at this point O, then we'll integrate, we'll get the total field due to this rotating ring. Non-conducting charger ring. This is a metal conducting ring, it is. I think, okay, little bit we are in some better position. So let's take this X and Y. Okay, what is Y? R sin theta, X is R cos theta. The, the symbols we'll be using. First, we'll calculate the B bar due to this only ring. This is a rotating circular strip. So then first we'll define the charge density, Q by two pi R. So what is the charge in that small strip DQ is equal to? Lambda into R D theta. Let me finish off all this basic mass so it'll be easy for us in the substitution. 
Uh, then what is the current di? It is rotated with an angular velocity omega. So therefore this will be dq. Okay, now we got di. So what is di is equal to substituting this q omega 4 pi square d theta. Okay, this is this di where you have to show, you, you, you show like this. Huh? I think there's the best thing what that will take out all your Ah, circular strip is a ring, rotating circular strip or, or a ring. Now current carrying ring it is now, at a distance x on the axis, this will be axis. Some of you understand diagram, rest all mathematics is very easy. So I'll, I'll make this problem, let it be. Now here is what current i, di. We know radius, it is y. Okay, can you calculate the magnetic field? So th this ring will get confused now, that's why, okay, anyway, like we have to write it, no? S small conducting ring. Now what is the magnetic field at this point? Okay, fine, uh, db should be equal to mu naught di y square to y square plus x square to the power of three by two. Rest all mathematics, dumping all the things, y and x, di mu naught uh, dq omega Let me put all the things one by one. This is mu naught by two. Di is how much? Dq omega by two pi. Uh, then in the y square plus x square, should be <coughs> r cube only, or, or we'll write one equation so that. In exam, you should avoid such steps. They will kill unnecessary, they'll kill your time. Three by two. Uh, what is y square? y square will be r square di is okay. The, we have that value, no di. Okay, q omega d theta by four pi r square. I uh, try to see all this. So here, in new r, r cube will be there r square. So one four pi r square will come. db is equal to mu naught q omega 8 pi square r check it uh, am i right just verify it sin square theta, one minus cos two theta. Sixteen pi square r square, one minus cos two theta. Okay, this two, let, let me introduce uh, that. Ah. Anything? What should be the limit? Zero to pi. Let, let me take next step. Uh, db equal to mu naught q omega.
anybody value Uh, th this will be pi. I think one pi will get cancelled. Hundred omega by pi. Mm. Okay, sixteen pi r. Okay, th this is a b naught. No flux linking that will calculate. Find the induced current it in. Okay, I'll, I'll go for the next step. I'll have one more page. Okay, we'll calculate the flux. So flux linking will be B naught into pi A square. This omega, I'll, I'll differentiate this d phi by dt mu naught q a square 16 r d omega by dt. So this will become e is equal to alpha. Eight. Eight volt, huh? Yeah. Uh, this will be, I think, in exam, really challenging one. So I, I suggest you some data, if you can remember some mathematics related, no? So like this, if a ring rotating. So you do one thing, this particular charge ring, no? If it is rotating, <coughs> either, so it is rotating about any diameter, so what is the magnetic field at the center of the ring? So you can directly bring this particular formula. That, that's what I think if, if you are ready with such things in exam, no, you'll be in advantage position. So I'm not asking you to memorize the standard data. Luckily, no, in an advanced exam, if you get a question and if you know this, 